It's just coming up to five o'clock in the morning. I should be in bed, but I'm not because I've been distracted and it doesn't matter. It's the weekend anyway. And hours don't really matter at the weekend. So I'm playing about with these little devices here. And what inspired this was when I was showing some bug killing devices recently, someone said that when they went on holiday in their camper, their wife got bitten by insects a lot. And I can totally relate to that because my mum used to get bitten by insects a lot. It's almost like they, you know, me, my brother and my mum could be in the same room in accommodation and she'd be the one that would get bitten. That happened in Perth. It happened, she got bitten by a bug in Las Vegas. So it's just everywhere she went in the world, she got, she got eaten by bugs. It's just, there must be something particularly delicious about ladies. And I was thinking I had seen devices like these ones, I ordered these a while ago just because I thought they were quite interesting. And these are for USB ports. You plug them into USB port, you use the standard insect killing tablets. And I thought maybe they'd be quite good, uh, depending on this power consumption. I'm trying to work out how this opens. Is it that end opens? Yes, it is. It closes quite tightly. Uh, another thing I was doing tonight before I go any further is I was eating some chocolate and I just wanted to say thank you to the German contingency for sending candy in. Now, I've misplaced a name. Someone sent me this Alpenmehl Ritter Sport and this, uh, what is that, Manor wafer? And they also sent uh, some Nimsoft 2 Gefult Bonbons mit Vitamin and Vitamin Bonbons with, with various flavours. I'm guessing strawberry, cherry, uh, lemon and orange. Interesting. Look forward to trying those. I've, I've already had some of the chocolate. But as I say, I forgot who sent these, so my apologies for that. They probably sent some other stuff at the same time and the two have been separated. The other candy, and strangely enough, the, the Ritter Sports making a major appearance here. Um, it seems to vary around the world, the Ritter Sports. So these were sent by Patrick. Buttermilk, uh, buttermilch uh, zitron, or buttermilch zitron, which is buttermilk and citron lemon. That's, I've never come across that flavour in the Ritter Sports before. They also sent rum trabenus. I'm guessing that's, uh, well, rum raisin and hazelnut, perhaps? I guess so. And then here in the UK, the two Ritter Sports that are available, well, the, here in the Isle of Man, the two Ritter Sports that are available uh, locally from the local co-op are um, the Honey Salted Almonds and the Marzipan. So it depends where you are, what's available. Uh, an interest in the Marzipan, the idea behind these Ritter Sport bars is that if you crack them like this, they kind of self-open. But the marzipan, and watch this, this if you try and crack it to self-open this one, all you can feel is the marzipan crunching and squishing inside. It completely wrecks the bar in the process. Mmm. I wouldn't eat some of this now. I'll try Mmm. I'll eat a tiny little bit. Oh. See this uh, honey salted almond one? is so good. I should mention there. Uh, Patrick also sent this selection pack of mini... Uh, ones, uh, a la mousse au chocolat, so that's uh, chocolate mousse, volnus in nougat creme, so that's like hazelnut nugget, I'm guessing, uh, yogurt, uh, Johannesbeer yogurt, that must be some kind of berry, I'm guessing, uh, stracia, stracciatella crisp, or is that stracciatella, and choco crisp, which is chocolate crisp, interesting stuff, but uh, Patrick also sent... Yeah, sorry, we'll get to the actual main feature in a moment. He sent my favourites. He sent, I can't resist it, he's sent three boxes of these. And between me and Ralph, Ralph has been visiting every single day since uh, he discovered I had some chocolate here. Uh, so we've uh, been getting our way through those, but these things are amazing. I've, I've mentioned them before. They're liqueur chocolates with the crisp sugar shell with the liqueur inside, dipped in chocolate, then dipped in coarse nuts, and then dipped in chocolate again. They are just absolutely incredible. Too incredible. They're too edible. They're too nice. I eat a lot of them, so uh, much appreciated. Thank you. But now on to the main, the main subject. So yeah, some were saying that when they travel in their camper, it would be nice if they had some device that could vaporise in the same way you get the mains ones, but operate at 12 volts. 
and you do get 12 volt versions. You get ones that plug into the cigarette lighter sockets, but you also get the USB versions, which could also be used. And they're quite high power. If you look at, say, for instance, a, a standard plug in one, comes with these little tabs. This one came from Poundland a while back, I think. Probably because all the printing squint and sometimes Poundland sells off stuff like that. But this one uh, has a ceramic resistor in it and it's a fixed resistance value. You plug it in and it draws exactly 5 watts. It's a fixed uh, heat power dissipation. Interestingly, uh, note the logo and someone's pointing out, well a few people pointed out, that All Out, All Out is an SC Johnson brand in India and other countries. And it's Raid in other countries, but it's using the same logo and it is still SC Johnson. The reason I mentioned the 5 watts bit is because uh, these two have PTC thermistors. Uh, I'll open one. That's the best bit. If you plug them in, they follow that characteristic that PTC thermistors sometimes do. It starts off quite... A high resistance and then it gradually drops until the and the current goes up but once it gets to a certain level it then self-regulates and it stops at that level and uh, I think if it get too hot it would then increase in resistance again and these are optimized for USB use and I plugged this in and left it for a while and it went up to about one amp at five volts which is the five watts it's quite a lot of current here, uh, if you considered that a 5 watt load running all night long is actually a fairly significant thing. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. Inside, oh that slides out, that's quite neat. Inside is the PTC block and a little circuit board with the connections for the USB lead. And then an LED and a resistor. Let's uh, lift these tabs up and see what's inside this. Can I get this out? Can I want to see how they've implemented the thermistor? The thermistor will be one of the little uh, ceramic discs, probably, or, or squares, with a contact on either side. Is that going to come out? It's not quite going to come out. Let's uh, keep going here. About now, yeah, it's coming out now. So what do we have? We have, it's a standard, it's a little disc in there with an electrode on either side and it's just clamped so it presses down. And this is the material that this is optimised for use at 5 volts, that it will self-regulate. It's also got a springy contact in there to keep that uh, pressed together to make the electrical connection. That's interesting. It's quite neat. I shall try and slide that in now and uh, put it back together. Oop, and without trapping a wire like I've just done. And then press those things back down again. Okay, so that's uh, that's us found what's inside that. But one of the interesting things is, while I was looking at the other stuff that's available, I found two of these. I found the white one and the pink one that draw 5 watts. But I also found this one. And this one is really strange because it's got a light on one side. I didn't realise it had a light. This is something I just added to the last Banggood order when I was ordering stuff on... When you plug it in, it does light up. It lights up quite brightly. But strangely, look into it. The, the power consumption at 5 volts is about 300 milliamps, and it remains fairly constant. The only slight change is suggesting that as the LEDs warm up, their voltage drop is going down slightly, and that's the only variation. It doesn't seem there's anything self-regulating here. And I thought this would be interesting to open because I think that they're using an aluminium-backed substrate PCB as the heater, and I'm wondering if they've got extra heater resistors or if it's just the uh, LEDs and the resistors associated with them that are actually doing the heating of the tab. But it is only 1.5 watts. And I wonder, is that really going to have an effect? Is it going to be as effective? Well, it's not going to be as effective as the 5 watt one, but maybe if you were in a sort of trailer or something like that, you might not require a terribly high power. Let's try and open this. It's got fantastic chinglish, by the way. I'm not sure in, in one bit. In the detail, product details, they've got uh, everything is pointing at the plug. Apart from this one points at lead, and it says cable connecting line. So, yep, there's the cable. Everything else points at the plug, including LED lamp housing lampshade, 
UCS, connect the power interface applied to ordinary charging plug computer, LED lamp, pop-up switch for mosquito repellent incense sheet, mosquito repellent incense trap, and then it says stir-fried incense coil mesh. I haven't a clue what the, that was supposed to be translated from. So this is kind of opening. Here's a little ejector thing, which is quite clever. It's a little thing that slides forward to eject the uh, your heater, t the tablet with the aroma on it. There is the circuit board. It's just using the LEDs and a resistor per LED as the heat source. So it's basically, let's uh, see if I can zoom down in this without going too far. Can you see the LEDs here? That uh, And each one is a little resistor. And those, the combination, the LEDs themselves will be providing quite a bit of the heat. They'll be dropping about 3 volts. The little resistors will be dropping 2 volts. And they are what heats the actual incense tab thing. Or the, uh, the vaporizer tab. Let's open one of them up. That's why I was getting all the chocolate out of the way first, because I didn't want to like handle these. I don't know what's in them. Some of these you can buy online have things like transfluthrin or pyrethrins in them. Other ones just have um, citrus oils. This one doesn't smell of anything. So, mm, smells a bit oily. I'm guessing it's got some sort of uh, insecticide or pyrethrin in it. So ultimately this is heated up by that. And it makes me wonder, there's one way to find out, because what these do is, these uh, start off blue, and when you use them, and the chemicals vaporise, they generally go sort of white, they sort of bleach out. It's notable that this one also says that instead of just, uh, instead of buying new tabs, you can take the existing tab out, and you can put a few drops of oils on it, or uh, the insect killery type sort of chemicals, the transfluthany type chemicals. I'm not sure how practical that would be. I guess maybe they're just, they get the stuff where there's problems with the insects. They get, you know, bottles of the stuff for, for that sort of application. But you could also use citron, citronella oil and eucalyptus are two of the main oils that seem to repel insects like that. Notably citronella being one of the most repelling oils to discourage the insects from even coming in or to dis disorientate them even. Very intriguing. So strange that they've uh, done that with the thing. But uh, So I was wondering, this is only 1.5 watts versus the 5 and the other, but it would probably still vaporise it, but it would just do it slower. Or would it just not reach that critical temperature for vaporisation? Dunno. Certainly I wouldn't recommend using this in a sort of large space, but it might work in a camper. I know that uh, some people live in campers these days, or uh, people, a lot of people in America live in trailers just because it's a much more convenient and cheap way to live. A lot of technical people live in trailers. That's quite intriguing, actually. So this is interesting, yeah. I'm going to put one of the tabs in. I'm going to plug it into a USB power supply, and I'm going to see if it bleaches out white to show that it's actually um, all the chemicals gone. I might, as reference, also put one in here and see how long it takes to go white uh, in this unit. And if I do that, and I complete the tests, I'll leave a comment down below in the description. That's the best bet. So there we go. You can get the low voltage ones. You get them for cars as well. I only just discovered the one about cars recently, but definitely the, the 5 volt USB ones ha seem to be re readily available on eBay and other sources like Banggood. So that's interesting. And this lower power one may well be suitable for small areas. So there we go. Um, low voltage insect killer vaporizer things could prevent your good lady from getting eaten alive by insects.